Hi, my name is Sean with MakerBot Learning. Vacuum forming is a really powerful form of manufacturing. And tons of things in your home, like plastic containers or packaging, are made using vacuum forming. So in this video, we're going to cover some of the basics on how you can 3D print molds for vacuum forming, saving time and money. While we used an industrial vacuum forming machine to achieve our application, you can also build one at home to achieve the same effect. In order to vacuum form, you'll need the following supplies, some of which can be seen here. Vacuum forming machine, sheets of vacuum forming plastic, forming frames, an oven or heating element, a 3D print, heat insulating gloves, eye protection, and a cutting tool. We will start by designing the form for our vacuum mold in 1-2-3D Design, a powerful free solid modeling software from Autodesk. When designing a mold for vacuum forming, it's important to consider what are called drafting angles, which allow you to remove the molded part from the form after the process is complete. For easy removal from the form, your drafting angle must be between 3 and 5 degrees from 90 degrees on any vertical surface. When printing a vacuum forming mold, there are some print settings that will ensure your part does not deform under heat or pressure. We chose to increase the number of shelves to four and print our part with 25% infill. This will also increase the lifetime of your mold. Other ways to increase the lifetime of your mold are to form at lower temperatures, increase the number of shells and infill in your mold, allow your mold to cool in between shots, if you find that over time your mold starts to deform, it should be replaced. For our vacuum forming plastic, we started with 12 by 24 inch sheets of white polystyrene approximately 3 quarters of a millimeter thick. And then we worked up to 1 quarter inch thick sheets of PETG. Because we used an industrial vacuum forming machine, we also needed to secure our mold firmly to the fixture shown. Using this process, our plastic was heated automatically based on the settings programmed. Typically, the plastic is heated evenly somewhere around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the plastic is heated evenly, it is pressed against the 3D printed form and the air is removed through suction. Hold the sheet in place for a few seconds until all of the air between the plastic and the form has been removed. Once the air has been removed from under the plastic, the plastic begins to cool. Once it's fully cooled, it can be removed from the form. Once the form has cooled to touch, the form can be removed and used for another run. You can form several objects in a row. When examining your final parts, look out for slight imperfections such as deformation or webbing that can occur when the plastic is overheated, stretch, or left on the vacuum forming platen for too long. After you have successfully molded your object, any extra plastic will have to be cut away. This is called flash. Industrially, this material is cut away with a computer controlled cutting device, or manually as shown here. Once you have formed, cooled, and cut your part to shape, you should have one or many of your desired object. Here you can see all of our final products. You just learned how to take your prints beyond the build plate. If you're looking for more applications, check us out at MakerBot.com or on our YouTube channel. And remember, if you try this at home, share it with us on Thingiverse or social media. We can't wait to see what you make.